Hello, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a chat that broadcasts messages to everyone inside that room with player.io um, So first off, you need to go to player.io.com that will give you this website um, There, you need to download the package There you go, download this again And there we go, you can save file and wait for it to download. Fortunately, I've already got it downloaded, so I'll just show you how to. So once it's already downloaded, you'll need to extract it with WinRAR or any other extracting program you'd like. Uh, Yeah, I know, I'm a bit messy. <laughs> so, you extract it. Extract to uh, desktop or whatever I'll name it. Chat test. You also need a W Flash CS, whatever. And Visual Studio 2000 and or whatever. Just any C Sharp compiler. So you go into Flash, this is how you start your new game, whatever. New game, and this is your server side code, either one. Um, you write your server side code so the client connects to that code and then it runs it. And the code will be uploaded to player.io. Okay, so I'll open that with Microsoft Visual C Sharp 2010 Express and yeah Let's, I'll just do that now Quick Flash this is my new game um, that's just basically a template for it I'll open that and that you should just there are three frames full of default template. Um, disconnecting, connecting to the server, and unable to connect to the server. You can change this if you want, it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll look in the game code. And you need to open your game code. This will just be the code, the client code or whatever you want, it, you know, connects to player.io and yeah, from then on you do whatever you want uh, where is it? What did I call it? I don't remember Are you serious? Sorry about that, I'm a bit of fail. Okay. Okay. And open the code. So this is the code. It's very heavily commented, so I guess that's pretty useful. Um yeah. So this is it. I know it might look a bit confusing at first, but yeah. It is pretty confusing, but I'll try and help you with that. Um First off, you need to create an account on Player.io. There you go. Um, I'm already logged in with my account called VFAN. You need to go to Admin Panel. This is where all your games will be. These are my games. Uh, you also have a bandwidth. I'm pretty sure it's 1 gig, 8 gigs, or something like that. Um, if you reach that band bandwidth limit, then you can't connect to the server anymore. No one can, but that's okay. It's very hard to do that to get up to one gig or eight gig, whatever. Unless it's a real-time strategy game or real-time game where you send connections all the time, and tons of players are online. 
but you can always upgrade your player eye count which is really useful so then you can just get whatever package you want like maybe like 500 gigs or you know for like $50 a month um, so creating your first game I click create game my game name let's just call it chat test Um, so it'll give you a game ID. What you will need to do with this is copy it, Ctrl C, and paste it inside here. And delete these little bracket things, I'm pretty sure. And then save it, and yep. Yeah, now you should be able to run it connecting all right we have an open our server so in C sharp this is connecting to the local server so your local server is just really useful for debugging and editing the code really quickly so when you're inside visual visual studio um C sharp 2010 whatever C sharp compiler you got um Open game CS and this is all your code. Yep. All your server side code. And it looks pretty confusing at all. I don't really know all of it. I'm not a C sharp genius or whatever. Um let it go. So basically what I do is just I send connections from the client and receive them here. So you've got a new message. And each message will have a parameter, whether it be a string, an int, a uint, a byte array, or whatever. And then you can send it back to the players in that room. So that means you can send messages that a player sent and broadcast it to everyone inside that room. And that's where we get Jet Network. So um, let's just remove this, doesn't really matter. Let's just call this. So, for some reason it was debugging. Anyway, let's just, this is case, so whatever, you send messages with string names, so let's just call this um, broadcast message. And to broadcast the player to everyone inside that room that's connected to this server, you need to broadcast, and then brackets, Broadcast, um, let's call it just broadcast message. And then we need to do message get string zero. This will mean that um, when you send param parameters, this is the first parameter that you send, which will be our message that whatever player has sent to everyone that broadcast. Um, yeah, you get the string of the parameter that was just sent and that will start as index 0. The next parameter will be index 1, 2, 3 and so on. Um, so that's basically all we need, I think, for the server side code. Um, so let's just run it by this little button. I like this. I'm gonna log on. And now it's connecting, and there we go. This is our development server. Yeah. So your client will connect to this, and yeah, that's basically it. So it's waiting for a connection at the moment, and let's see if we can connect to it. He accidentally extracted the wrong player.io development pack package. Um, when you download yours, it should be the right one, updated. Um, and your game ID should work. I just used the previous game ID. So, yeah. Tell me if you have any problems in the comments. And yeah, now let's try and connect to the server. Just like before. There we go.